I play in a band called Mogwai. We've been going for 25 years. Um, formed in, in Glasgow. And um, yeah, I just want today to talk to you guys a little bit about how I ended up being able to um, play guitar in a band for 25 years. And uh, at any point, if you want to ask any question, um, I'm happy to answer it. I went to do a, a college course at a place called Julianesque Valley College, an HND in modern musicianship, which was a chance for me to play music all day, pretty much. And um, when I was at college, I formed a band with some of my pals, only for that two years, but I had a really great time. Started playing gigs around, playing gigs around Glasgow, places like Nice and Sleazy and the 13th Note, which are both still there, although the 13th Note's in a, a different place. And just really that became my life, um, became my big passion. What I wanted to do was play music. That band broke up. The drummer was moving to Australia and uh, I wanted to start a new band. I didn't want to have to do anything else apart from play music. I was very, very determined. So I had a, a pal called Dominic who had been playing in other bands, but also I knew a pal of his called Colin, and we got together and decided to start this band, Mogwai. One of the ambitions we had when we started the band, we didn't have a lot of ambitions, but we had two really. One was to get our record played on the John Peel show on Radio One. He had a show, I think he was on from 10 till midnight, every night, Monday to Thursday. We had this support from this guy that we really, really admired. And other people after that contacted us, to, contacted us sorry, to ask if we were interested in their record label putting out um, records by us. We said yes. So we, uh, we made another seven inch for another label and then another seven inch for another label. And these records we'd been making by this point, we were recording them with a guy called Paul Savage. Paul Savage um, was the drummer in a band called the Delgados and they had, they had their own label, like we had their own label, but their label was a proper record label. They had an office and they had different people within the band who had different roles. So Chemical Underground was a proper label. In fact, around that time, they had put out a band called BIS, B-I-S, who were from our kind of scene, same kind of scene as us, but they got really, really, really hyped. They got on the cover of the NME. It was a really big deal back then. And uh, they'd actually got onto Top of the Pops. So Chemical Underground had kind of got this reputation and this real success, real tangible success of um, putting out a record that actually got on top of the pops, which is way before all your guys' time, but was really how everyone found out about music. It was on on a Thursday night at seven o'clock, I think, and they had people playing, they were in the charts and exclusives by the biggest people, like okay, anyone you could think of would be on it. If you're interested, you should look up some old stuff on YouTube. It's loads of good stuff. And um, the Chemical Underground asked us if, if we would be interested in signing with them, as in making an actual album. And um, because we knew them, we knew they were good people and they had a good reputation and they'd be doing well, we said yes. But when I'm actually um, wanting to properly demo a song, I usually use the computer, which I'm currently talking to talking to you guys on. And uh, yeah, I use a program called Logic, but it's, uh, it's the same as GarageBand, which I think you get, comes free with computers. And I use the, use the multi-track thing to just layer, layer things. I also loop sec sections, so I can try different melodies over different sections. I'll usually um, have a few different chord sequences and then I can move them around to see what what chord sequences work in, in what order and really just build it up in a really basic way until it's uh, some kind of song. 
you're going to do something perfect at some point. Um, I think that's maybe the Scottish mentality as well of just never being too full of yourself. But I definitely feel always excited about the future, excited about doing something new, doing something better. Mm -hmm.